I have the pleasure of speaking to Carolyn Turnbull, who's Managing Director of Visit Western Australia. And we are talking uh, the Australian Tourism Exchange on the Gold Coast. Thanks for talking to Selin Travel, Carolyn, today. It's a pleasure, Steve. Great to be with you. Well, we couldn't be further away from Western Australia at the moment here in Queensland. But you alluded to the fact that to make a show like this work, you need partners from all over the country to come together to put on this kind of event. Is that correct? Oh, look, that, that, couldn't, be, um, that couldn't be more right, Steve. I think um, ATE presents a great opportunity for the Western Australian tour operators um, and product that are here to exhibit this week and to really sell their stories to the international travel trade. So we're really excited to have the opportunity to connect our product with the travel trade internationally. You talked about your, your new brand, Walking on a Dream. Could you explain what the concept is behind that? For sure, Steve. Our Walking on a Dream is an exciting new brand for Western Australia. We like to call it our forever brand. Uh, Walking on a Dream is really inspired by our Indigenous culture. Um, our strategic pillars are underpinned by um, areas such as time, space, freedom and connection. And all of those key elements are so important in that post-COVID world where travellers are really seeking an immersive experience. They're looking to get off the beaten track and to really um, explore um, you know, the, the areas of Western Australia that they may not have had um, the opportunity to do before. Western Australia is a, an enormous state. It's a third of the nation and we're really excited that Western Australia that you know you might you might say um, that it's a long way from anywhere we're saying that that's the exciting part about um, what Western Australia has to offer when we're talking about the UK we're the only city in Australia that has direct flights to London daily with Qantas so that's an amazing selling point for tourists that are looking for um, a different perspective on Australia maybe those that have traveled to Australia before but they haven't had the opportunity of visiting uh, Western Australia or experiential travelers that are looking for for a real bucket list destination. You've got so much product in Western Australia. How do you how do you choose the highlights on a single visit? Or do you need to come back? Oh look, I think I think that's the exciting um, aspect about Western Australia. There is such diverse range of um, incredible opportunities to see and explore and experience. Um, everything from our uh, World UNESCO heritage sites, such as the Poonalunu National Park that I spoke about this morning, where we have the world class bungle bungle range um, going down the coast where we have 10,000 kilometres worth of unspoiled beaches, um, the Ningaloo Reef which I spoke about where um, if you're lucky enough to have the opportunity to swim with you know the gentle giants the whale sharks um, and then coming down the coastline where you know the Western Gateway being Perth it's such a vibrant beautiful city it's a true lifestyle city and the gateway to so many different experiences. Um, Margaret River region uh, three hours south of Perth is a premium wine and food um, uh, incredible location that offers so much 50 years of um, amazing premium wine producing down in the Willyabrup region and beyond uh, and then further um, out to the west uh, sorry out to the east uh, the Australian Golden Outback and I, I touched on many different aspects whether that's the wildflower country all the way further south to Esperance where you've got those untouched beautiful white sandy beaches in Esperance um, such as Lucky Bay. For people who do know Western Australia what are some of the new products if you haven't been for a couple of years you mentioned some of them today but could you just tell us some of the some of the must-do new experiences on offer in the state? Yeah definitely I think um, uh, I did mention a few actually I, I, I touched on about 10 um, new experiences this morning but just to highlight a few the Matagarrup uh, zip climb and um, bridge climb is an, an exhilarating experience um, for many visitors to see the skyline of Perth. And that's um, something you've done yourself, isn't it? I have. I do like to um, experience things firsthand yeah. so I can speak um, confidently about the different experiences. And I think Matagarrup zip line um, and bridge climb is an extraordinary experience to really see the skylines of Perth and um, just to experience something different. Um, Going, I think, up north, I talked about um, Horizontal Falls, where there's an incredible new experience there, accommodation experience, which is a beautiful pairing to experiencing the Horizontal Falls, um, but having that unique um, boutique experience um, of accommodation with a maximum of 20 guests. 
um, there too. Uh, and then further south down in uh, Margaret River, I touched on um, Fraser Gallop, which is a, a, a beautiful manor style accommodation setting um, and vineyard, which is really unique. And you can experience that via um, electric buggy um, um, cars. So that's, that's really cool as well. You've got a great team in the UK. You're going to continue working closely with the trade as you always have done. Definitely, Steve. I mean, even through the COVID period, we were, we were one state that had um, consistent um, resourcing in all of our uh, 11 key international markets. UK has always been such an important market. It continues to be our largest market, both in terms of visitation and spend. And uh, we couldn't do that without our trade partners. So Ellen and the team, Sandra and Ellen and the team in London um, continue to do a terrific job building those relationships and momentum with our trade partners. Um, and many of them are here uh, to, to be a part of ATE this week. Okay. Final question. I'm a travel agent. I've got a customer who comes in and says, tell me why I should go to Western Australia. Three things I must do when I'm there. Maybe three of your favourite things. What, what, would you, what would you recommend? Western Australia is definitely a location that you must see. Um, if you haven't been to Western Australia, you're truly missing out. It's the dreamlike state in, in Australia. Coming in via Perth is a must-see uh, city location. It's the Western Gateway to Western Australia. And um, I think uh, pairing Perth uh, with a short stay to experience the great um, vibrant city that is is Perth, pairing that with a great short visit to Rottnest Island where you can enjoy um, uh, the beautiful beaches, ensuring that you're going to get that cocker selfie that everyone loves to loves to capture when they're they're staying in Perth. And then I think taking a short stay down to Margaret River, again depending on the time of year, uh, Margaret River offers you know premium wine and food experiences like no other. And I think also stretching out and exploring um, further parts of the southwest, going down to the Great Southern which is uh, a wonderful area where Albany delivers an incredible um, historic story with the Anzac Centre being well positioned there uh, and then going down further to the likes of Esperance where the beaches there, Steve, um, are like no other that I've seen personally. Okay, well it certainly whetted my appetite for a visit. So uh, thank you for speaking to